First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Steve Londo here with First Updates Now. I'm here with 503 Frog Force out of Novi, Michigan. I'm here with Unkith, Vinay, Josh, and Elise. They're gonna tell us about this amazing robot. Hi, I'm Ankit, and I'm going to talk a little bit about our drivetrain this year. So we've been, we've been working on it for the past three off-seasons now, but uh, this is the first competition season we felt comfortable going with the swerve drive. And so we chose the swerve drive because it gives us more mobility on the field and allows us, and allows us to be uh, more agile. So this is a custom swerve drive. It's about our third revision of this swerve uh, setup. So we took a lot of inspiration from other teams when designing it. But uh, one thing we're really proud of in general of our Swerve is the software behind it. So um, it can, it's always being controlled by some sort of input. It's always either trying to maintain its heading so that it's easier for the driver to drive it, or it's taking driver input, or it's using that the camera to lock onto the goal so that once we get ready to shoot, we can just we're already aimed and ready to ready to start shooting. And it's also tracking its location real time uh, using all of the different module angles and positions to calculate its XY position in the field. And that's all being fed into the algorithm to move it around. All right, Vinay, what part are you going to tell us about? Go ahead and talk about another component of your, ro of your robot. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the intake and the indexer on the robot. So this intake, uh, we knew that we wanted it to be wide so we could intake from any part of the robot on the width. Um, so this linkage is a virtual four bar with the sprockets off ratio. What that allows for us to do is with one actuation allows us for us to both deploy the intake and change the angle so that we can minimize the number of rollers and get balls into the hopper in easily. And the indexer is special. So we knew that like other high volume shooting games that it would be important to have a really good way to feed the balls one by one in the shooter. So we took inspiration from teams 2017's 2017 hoppers and knew that a rotary indexer would be the right way to go. So our hopper has five slots with curved hooks to keep the balls off the walls and we can spin it at about 60 RPM and shoot ball about a full cycle of balls in a second. So I guess I could talk about a few more features, um, specifically just with our shooter wheel. So as you can see, uh, we have our, uh, we actually have the shooter wheel over here, but then right below we have another kicker wheel that allows for our indexing to actually come through another stage and uh, allows us to have a consistent and more straight shot as it goes through the shooter. I guess another thing that's really helped us in our competition um, is we noticed a problem with having different balls throughout the competition, like some that are bad and degraded. And, uh, and some that are like relatively new. So I guess one of our, um, uh, one of our features is that we can consistently add layers of foam to, make, uh, to uh, easily add more compression so that our shooter, we can constantly adjust it throughout a competition. Um, and that is really advantageous towards our shots that we shoot from the trench. And speaking of multiple shots, we also have um, a variable hood here that operates on a pneumatic. So if you want to show them like the short shot state, so this is the shooting state that we run if we were just gonna shoot from the initiation line. But if we wanna run from the trench, it runs the shooter at a faster speed and flips the hood down. So that allows us to have really two dialed in shots throughout the competition. Uh, and both of those work with our vision alignment uh, if we just steer to the target. All right, thanks guys. This has been the Behind the Bumpers with 503 Frog Force out of Novi. I'm Steve Lando reporting for First Updates Now. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.